Um, so first and foremost, thank you to the Summer Launch Incubator. I, I learned a lot. Um, so I had this idea for a tech company and I'm not a tech savvy guy. I just recognize that there's a problem in communities that I came from. Um, so if for those that don't know, in the United States, there's about 16 million vacant homes that are abandoned at any given time. In Baltimore City it, alone, there's 15,032 vacant properties which accounts to almost nearly $70 billion of lost property value or property taxes that are generated in the city per year. Um, so I, I started looking at that problem and tackling it. And a lot of issues come from blight. You have high crime rates. Um, there's been a lot of uh, murders in, in blighted properties where you find bodies. And one of, one of the biggest issues, especially in places like Baltimore, is that firefighters are dying because they're not identifying how bad these structures are. So when they go to fight these fires, they die uh, because the floorboards aren't in place and then the, the, the whole property collapsed on them. So blight is a major issue, issue in a lot of American cities. So what we're trying to do at Remify is to address this issue by creating a marketplace that addresses the, that addresses the, root, call, the root cause of, of these conditions. So on the left is a neighborhood um, in Baltimore City, a, a complete completely blighted, uh, all those structures are falling down. And on the right is the same, is, is a similar neighborhood in Baltimore where blight is non-existent. So ask yourself, in which neighborhood do you feel like you would be safer? In which neighborhood do you feel that people uh, feel good about themselves? In what neighborhood do you feel that net worth and, and life outcomes are higher? This is why tackling blight is so important. So through this program and through the help of my mentors at the SLI, I was able to identify our target market and, and how to really hone in and address the, the issue and how to fix the problem. So when we we're identifying our target market, we saw that we needed to uh, help out the homeowner because homeowners often fall on tough times. And by giving them more access to information, they can find government programs that allow them um, to fix their problems um, for the homes, so let's say like a roof leak or a water heater. Um, that's provided that 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 allows them to connect to government grants that are available so that they can resolve those issues. And then we have our second target demographic. Our market is the contractors who are, fix the problem, right? They fix the the, the property. We want to connect them to the problem so that they can fix them. And then the investor, we want to ensure that they understand what is coming in the areas where they want to invest. So oftentimes investors neglect areas because they don't know the strategic plan or the master plan from any given community. And then the municipal government, we wanna ensure that those governments are able to generate income from these vacant properties, right? Because when they lose money, that means there's less, they have a, a lesser ability to pay for firefighters, lesser ability to pay for police, and they, it lowers the, the quality of the education for the young people that live in their communities because of lack of revenue. So how do we do it? So we worked on the minimum viable product, again, Thank you to my mentors because they really helped me uh, with this with this stuff. I didn't know anything about Wix and Karam helped me out with that. So our, our one of our minimal viable products, this is up from the mobile app that we created. Um, so this allows individuals to learn about the government resources that are available for homeowners, as well as report blight in their neighborhoods. So, so the quicker we can get that information, the, the faster we can solve the, the problem. A second uh, product is for the investors. This will give them information on blighted properties that are available to purchase, as well as a QR code that tells them about the master plan uh, for that specific area that they're looking to invest in. And then at 99 a month, we have the contractors who are the, one of the most vital pieces in this, right? Because we want to ensure that they're not only fixing the property, but they're doing it the right way. So on this app, they'll be able to get licensed and insured and bonded, as well as allow individuals who need to repair properties to request an estimate through our contractors. And let's not forget the municipal government and how we're gonna help them. So what we wanna do is address a lot of the issues that occur in those communities. So we wanna identify the blighted properties, verify that they are blighted, and then help the gov that, that segment um, to dispose of the properties. So whether that be through our own channels or working through third parties and connecting them so that they can dispose of these properties as soon as possible. So I came to Remify. It was a long journey to get to Remify. So I, I've spent the last 12 years of my life trying to work in low-income communities to try to create equitable opportunities. So I believe in 
equality of opportunity. And the closer we get to that, the better the outcomes for, for these communities. So in the past, I've been a, a restaurateur, a restaurant owner. I've owned, I've run for public office. I've been a realtor. I, I've even spoken in front of the, the, the House Democrat Committees on Blighted Properties in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, and what I recognize is that we can do a lot of good things in communities, but real estate and land acquisition is one of the greatest systemic barriers for a lot of people. So you'll notice that in neighborhoods that are more stabilized, it doesn't really matter what's going on there. If the neighborhood is stabilized, the life outcomes for the residents are much better. And if you go to areas where they're blighted, you see that individuals that live in those areas have a lower life expectancy because there's less resources available to them and there's less, um, less economic prosperities in those areas. So here's a picture of uh, some kids playing basketball next to an abandoned property, right? So when you live in poor conditions, for the most part, you don't recognize that you're poor. You don't recognize what the conditions that you're living in are, um, but it's our responsibility to do something about those conditions. And that Remify is our, our way of being community activists, disguising it as entrepreneurship, right? So we wanna make sure that we can create a, a system that, that allows for individuals to, to move up that social economic ladder and give them a better prospect for their lives. So moving forward, um, again, I, I mentioned I wasn't really a big tech guy. Um, so I, I do need some, some help in identifying some web, de web developers and data, data analysts, because there's more things that we want to do, but we want to start with these four core uh, folks, target markets. Um, and then we also want to, if, if anyone is aware of anybody in municipal governments that they can connect me with, specifically in the housing and economic development departments, I would love to sit down and speak with uh, a few of those folks. And then we're going to continue to test this thesis out um, by offering, um, by testing out how much people are willing to pay and seeing what exactly it is that individuals are willing to pay for. Um, and then lastly, identify potential investors. And when I say investors, I'm talking about like maybe like at the micro level um, to get individuals who are willing to, to buy into this concept and work with us to try to grow this business. Um, so I, I put my contact information down here. Um, and lastly, before I go, I just want to make sure that I, I recognize my, my mentors because they were excellent for me. Um, they really helped me to hone down on the idea because as many of you know, working with government, working on this societal issues, there's such big problems and to hone in and try to find solutions and, and, and get to where you want to get to is very difficult sometimes because, you know, it's just a, it seems like problems just compound, but they did a great job and I'm very appreciative to them. And I'm also very appreciative to Amy and Ben for, for all the work that they've done with the Summer Launch Incubator. So thank you very much. You got it. Uh, Amy, you're muted, but I believe Catherine, uh, you're going to speak as the mentor. Is that right? That is right. That right. Um, yeah. So my name is is Catherine Weil, and I had the the pleasure of getting to work with Juan and mm -hmm. Remify along with our our co mentor um, uh, Karam. So we had a a great you know month long. Uh, relationship here, getting to know Juan and, and watching him tackle, obviously, a huge, very complex problem. Um, he came in, he was, you know, he was very passionate about it, um, was ready to jump in to kind of start developing that solution and bringing in, you know, a developer and going after investors. Um, and we were able, you know, kind of that taking a step back to look at, you know, validating the problem. You know, we know there's a problem, like, are there validated um you know, consumers who are going to pay for a solution, who are they, you know, what is their problem and is, is the solution you think, you know, the, the solution that they have. Um, and so he's done a really great job about digging into that a little bit more, identifying, you know, four key stakeholders and consumers and has done some market research and some, some customer surveys with them um, and is, you know, definitely on a great track to start pushing out his MVP and really testing this idea um, and tackling a really large, you know, complex problem that has, you know, socioeconomic and political and personal implications um, for our communities. He has a great background in real estate, has been an entrepreneur for a long time, um, has worked in community development and, you know, has all the skills um, to really kind of drive at something. So that's been really great to to watch um and very excited to to see him take this on and um happy to continue supporting in any way uh and 
I wish you all the all the best. It's been it's been really great watching you you take this this beast of a problem um, and really kind of honing in a, a clearer pitch on it. Thanks, Catherine. You know, it's it's really a a global problem, and uh, uh, as one knows, I made a connection uh, to him to somebody in Australia who is again focusing similar um, on similar issues there. So he knows that at least there is you know, a tremendous market for this, how he focuses and how he, he gets his first validation on this will be um, exciting for us all to watch. So thank you, Catherine and Karam for uh, guiding him along.